Howdy, so this is NXVX, and this video will be about the canonicity of Bleach because I know a lot of you are curious on what is canon and what is not within Bleach, so I'll just be going over it within this video. I have a Patreon, so go support me. I have a TikTok, so go watch me on there if you want some Bleach content and just other things. I don't only post anime content. I also have a Discord, as you can visually see right here. So if you do enjoy and like watching me, go support me, join the Discord. We like to chill. We like to vibe. So let me first say, because we have a lot of new fans and a lot of returning fans, everything in Bleach is essentially canon. Just for most intensive purposes, if you want to have a discussion about Bleach, the movies, the anime, and the OVAs, novels, all of them are canon. Usually the games might be in an alternate world if it's just one of these games that's just a franchise or it just retells the story so it really doesn't do anything. Now, with that said, I know a lot of y'all are here from the new Thousand Year Blood War episodes. So if you have been paying attention, you would have noticed these two scenes right here. So these two scenes are from anime only arcs so a lot of y'all that skipped the anime only arcs i actually don't know where this is from this is from the amagai arc and this is from the zonpak to rebellion arc so this shows as referenced within the bleach anime which kubo is supervising kubo is there with every step that the anime is considered canon to him what is funny about both of these arcs is that they can literally not operate within the timeline the only way it can happen is how the anime shows us, showing us for a fact, yes, the anime is canon. This takes place after the defeat of Grimshaw. You cannot, that cannot take place physically. This takes place after Arniero's defeat, but before any of them go to Huecomundo. Obviously, that cannot exist, however it does. Not only have these things been referenced within the novels, it's been referenced within the manga, as well as now being referenced within the anime once again. We know for a fact that this is canon. So, whatever minor things you want to say about the arcs, whatever, we see that the author himself dictates this is canon, and this is what he considers to be the story. So, a lot of y'all that get kind of like butthurt and like, oh, I don't like this arc, so I'm not going to consider it. Whatever you say, I'm going to go with what the author himself considers his art which is actually how kubo words it these mediums that produce bleach officially let me say that again officially these official sources of bleach they have to get approved by kubo if they get approved by kubo they get the green light now this is just going on the anime and just these two scenes so let me just go further up and show y'all just the different things showing these things are canon right here this is bbs the official Bleach game, and this is the translations for Spirits Are Forever With You, supervised with Kubo and in assistance with Kubo, and it says, we've seen some examples of Reishi absorptions with Arizame Shinguri and others on Pacto in the Soul Society. This character is an anime-only character only appearing within the Rhaegar arc. Now, what is also funny about the Rhaegar arc is this is actually Kubo's favorite anime-only arc, which should be up here um we have uh, quite a lot of things so uh yeah i have quite a lot of things just showing and kubo just talking about it but let's see if i can just find it really quickly this is just kubo talking about how he made and was involved with the making of the anime are you involved with the animation process i think it's safe to say that I'm involved with every step so that's just Kubo talking about him being involved within the anime. He also does veto things. So while I get this, there it is right here. His favorite arc was the invasion army in the anime. Quite literally. Yeah, that's his fa favorite arc. Uh, so that's funny. This is a reference from one of the novels to movie one. Let me just blow this up for some of y'all. Boom. Let me blow it up for y'all. Now. There's more things right here, as you can see right here. This is the Serate Bulletin talking about, oh, you know, this is canon. And how they have things that he wanted to add. But, oh, you know, it's just random little tidbits that he was asked to draw. He added them. And guess what? Those appeared in the anime first before this release. Now, 
Google will be providing super strong support for the new series, including a new design with a human form. Design will be unveiled. Zonplok Toe Rebellion. Yeah. Koga. Zonplok Toe Rebellion. We know that's canon. This is for the Bounce Arc. A lot of y'all didn't like the Bounce Arc. The Bounce Arc is better than the Soul Society. Don't care. Uh, y'all are just wrong. But why don't we read out what it says right here in Japanese? We have the kanji right here. And now why don't I go to the homie, the translator. At long last, let us shift into addressing the issue of the core original series, shall we? Now, what appears first? Um, Actually, where is it? There it is. In the first volume of the anime's initial narrative, there's a portrayal of the lies of a group, men and women alike, known as the Bounce. Now, this is the first thing, right? We see right here. Let's blow this up again. Oh, okay. So, if this is the first thing. What, what's here? Oh, that's Senna. So the bounce happened before Senna. And Senna is referenced within the manga. You will see this anime only watchers in the future. It's just going to be a small scene, but you will see this. Um, I hope that I have it on hand here. It doesn't seem like I do, but hey, whatever. You're just missing out on spoilers. Very happy. Movie 2. This is the manga or just Part that Kubo said he also said this is a perspective from Toshiro's point of view showing that movie 2 is just another perspective Ashido mentioned twice this is an anime only character coming with the Menos Forest which is also referenced within the manga so just I know this video is all over the place but just to give you a general idea you see that the anime is being used within the new anime it's referenced within the old anime as well. If you do remember, the uh, bounce arc is actually shown multiple times within other arcs. Now, let's read this Menos Forest thing here. They are design concepts for the Forest of Menos, story arc of the Bleach anime series. I wasn't able to include Ashido in the manga because of timing issues, so I'm glad I get to introduce them here. So, what Kubo is doing is using the anime as an extension to show us more of the series. Also does say this with the Omegai arc right here, which we quite literally have reference in the new anime. So, yeah, cool. This is the character designs for it. I didn't have them saved, but you can just go look in the manga for them yourself, just for the character designs if you would so wish. In the TV anime version of Bleach, I was fortunate enough to be involved in the early development of this series, though not as much as with the movie. It was a very reliable experience, a very valuable experience, my bad. The script is still being checked as I write this, but I think it's going to be great. I'm eager to see it as anybody. Now, what is funny about this and it also being referenced within the manga, we have Kubo ha going on record. Yes, Kubo has verbatim gone on record to say that he will veto things out of the series. Oh, this is Memories of Nobody. Boom. Ruruka didn't die, by the way, but yeah, Memories of Nobody is referenced within the manga. Boom. Making the bounce cannon. Very pog. Senna's also a cannon character. Uh, right up here. The girl Senna. Based. But going back. And uh, go, getting on points. We have our boy Kubo literally saying that he will veto ideas. If I remember correctly, there was a proposal seeking to bring them into contact. This is talking about the boy Toshiro and Rangiku interacting with Ishin. So, there was a proposal seeking to bring them into contact one time in anime side story or something like that, but I hadn't drawn it in the original work. Until he reveals his true identity isn't, isn't the type to initiate contact to begin with. So I had a discussion and ultimately told him to abandon the idea. So Kubo will literally veto ideas that he doesn't agree with and things that doesn't happen. So if something happens within the series, Kubo thinks it would happen, and it happened. Um... This is um, talking about parallel universes and confirming its existence. Movie 1, as I said on my TikTok, Movie 1's character Senna is Renji and Rukia's daughter from a parallel universe. Confirming the existence of parallel universes, which we do see multiple times within the anime. It is explained, as well as being explained within Movie 1, that there are alternate worlds. It's said multiple different times, so... TV anime. Like, <laughs> um, doesn't get more blatant than that. Hellverse right here. 
oh, they're replaying it with the episode. Hellverse literally has a manga chapter. Yeah. And a lot of y'all don't know this, but Hellverse doesn't take place like during the Aronka arc. It takes place after. Um, so y'all need to correct that. Anybody that says Hellverse isn't canon, you don't even know what happens within the timeline. Yes, gotta save Hellverse. Always talking about Hellverse as well as being the imaginary number. Same naming scheme as what he calls his other works. Now, just to go quickly through these right here with it for the other movies. Kubo is so involved. He literally is talking about the promotion. He literally had them voice act and say, execute Toshiro. Which he even apologized for because he was like, yeah, you know, um, I, I, I had him say it, but, you know, I, I had y'all stressed. You thought Toshiro was going to die. My bad. Dude, when you're literally deciding how they're going to promote the movie, I think it's safe to say that, yeah, I, I'm pretty involved in this. <laughs> as well as the fact that movie one is referenced within the manga. And we have movie two. We have movie two. This man being like, yeah, you know, it has to be something I agree with. It has to be, hold up, boom. Not only that, right? Boom, boom, boom. We got changes that they make to the characters. Boom. We have literal reasons that's elaborated on within the novels of these movies. So we know the novels are canon as well. Literally having them right here. Oh, I wanted to have them in the movie, but I couldn't. Already too late. So they use the novels. A lot of y'all don't know this. All the Bleach movies, except for movie... Actually? Yeah. All of them have novels. Every Bleach movie has a novel. Not all Bleach movies has a comic. The only Bleach movie that doesn't have a comic is movie four. But all of them do, in fact, have a novel. This right here as well, literally being here since day one. I think a fan that loves the original manga would love this work. I think I made a movie where if you touch Bleach first by watching this movie, you would end up wanting to read the original manga. Please enjoy. Y'all can watch my original video on this subject if you want a more just concise, oh, point by point, oh, why the anime is canon. But this is just going, just bit by bit, just showing if y'all want to pause and read this. Oh, I'm involved. I've gotten more involved as time has went on. This is literally a game character. This is the Jet Art book. This is on the PlayStation 2. Literal game characters, dude. Kubo was involved in every part of his story, dude. Like, I think people just disregard how involved Kubo is. This is a mobile game, dog. Kubo's collaborated with the mobile game multiple times, dude. Multiple times. <laughs> The anime shown here, like we have our boy Kubo being like, yeah, you know, um, I literally feel like the movies, bro. Like, I feel like the anime is a movie and not the anime is a movie, but the manga is a movie. He has been asked specifically, oh, like, what did you think of the episodes? Like, um, the manga episodes or the manga movies. Like, it's literally been worded like that, like. All that the difference is, literally, Kubo, again, untold stories, too. Like, collaboration with Kubo everywhere. Kubo's imprint is all on here. This is the novel referencing the Zanpakuto Rebellion. Multiple different just Zanpakuto Rebellion references. This is Kubo talking about, oh, you know, the anime. I liked it. I'm working on it. Support the anime announcing the anime and the manga and not the manga but the anime and the movies it's pretty concise as we're talking about this uh after these anime episodes it's just gotten to the point that if you don't understand and you don't just see it you, you're not going to see it anybody that would like to just see this on their own time and view it please watch my original video on the subject as well as please refer back let me say that again. Please refer back to my original video. I'm much more slow and I'm much more concise anime referencing right there. Something that happens in the anime. The Woman Society happened before the release of this book. Like, it's, 
it's just all here, bro. Like, come on, bro. I don't know. <laughs> movie two. This is a popularity pub where movie two is also here. Sixty fourth is Kusaka. Like, come on. We have our boy Kusaka up here. Like, Yore, hold up. It's somewhere right here. It's in the sixty fourth. Regardless, though, I hope y'all enjoyed. This was just a simple video to show the anime is in fact canon and the uh, bleach thousand year blood war will continue to show us scenes proving again and again that it is canon if you disagree with the anime being canon i'm sorry you're being willfully ignorant so i do hope you enjoyed this this quick just look